The Super Bowl is this Sunday and the Suits cast has reunited. We have the commercial minus Meghan Markle. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. So glad to be back in studio. And we got a lot of big game spots coming out uh, with the big Super Bowl this weekend. And we will give you some coverage of all the best celebrity commercials that are coming in. And thanks to everybody who checked out our Beckham's commercial. A lot of you tuned into that uh, later on. And, and yes, the Super Bowl is a big deal here in the States. A lot of celebrities get paid a lot of money. And so the cast of Suits has reunited for a commercial. Now, we teased this before, and I'm going to go into it and play it with you in a second. Judge Judy, a lot of people shown up, but three members of the Suits cast are there. But where's Megan? Where's Megan? We're going to talk about this. Now, look, these uh, brands pay a lot of money. Uber paid $14 million for a 60-second spot featuring Jennifer Aniston, David Schwimmer reunited, along with the Beckhams, Victoria and David. Uh, teamed up for a commercial. I didn't find it very funny. I don't know about you guys. Uh, but this is big money, and they deem this worthy because of all the big star caliber, because of social media, that they think they can get their returns. This is the opportunity for celebrities, anybody, to get paid. And so the fact that they didn't even ask Megan is hugely surprising. Prince Harry just showed up in Vegas for an NFL award. He did show up. They clearly are want to be involved with the NFL. And we're going to talk about that over on Popcorn Palace. In fact, we're going to be live next. Uh, join us about 12, 1230. We'll be live over on Popcorn Palace. I'm going to try to remember to put it up here or put it at the end. We may be live as you're watching this now. So come over there, head on over there. Join us um, as we wrap up our royal coverage here. We're going to be doing it there always. And uh, yeah, they, they clearly want to be involved. So it's very telling to see that they're doing this without her. I, I want to watch this commercial with you guys. Let's see it. Um, I got to start and stop a bit because we got to offer our commentary here. But here's the Suits Reunion Elf Cosmetics Judge Judy Super Bowl commercial. All rise. Judge Beauty is... Ah, uh, see what they did there? Judge Beauty is back. Beauty fades. Dumb is forever. His boss was overspending on beauty. She there it is, the two cast. Uh, uh, wasting company funds on overpriced makeup. Good makeup now, is expensive. Now, pricey makeup is a scam, like couples therapy or boundaries. Ooh, I object to his whole vibe. I don't even know who half these people are in this ad, let's be clear. There's a lot of other little cameos and people, uh, a lot of fast cutting, but here they clearly paid Judge Judy, I am imagining, the most to be in here. It's a lot of sort of trial themed guests. Telling me you need to spend $92 on foundation? Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. I confess. I just wanted to look gooey. Radiant. Luminous. Glowy. Elf and hot. Uh, but this stuff costs a fortune and it isn't even cruelty free. It's, it sounds like they're just knocking Sephoria, which is way overpriced garbage. I know. I'm not proud of it. Gasp. <gasps> I find you guilty. Megan Trainer showed up to go gasp. That's really why. Guilty of reckless spending and sentence you to fourteen dollar glowy skin. <sighs> okay, just wait. Stop. So what, what do I get? So, sorry, no makeup can cover up irritating. Well, that's okay. I don't mind being irritating. <laughs> I like him. He's funny. No, it's okay. I don't mind being irritating. <laughs> the first, the first laugh from me. Judge Beauty serves eyes, lips, facts. In Elf, we trust. All right. I mean, look, I don't think this ad was aimed at me. <laughs> it's not my favorite Super Bowl spot I've seen. But uh, and I, plus, she's not like a stenographer, right? Well, she she got really the shaft here. But they, I, I can't see Megan showing up for this spot. I'll be honest. <laughs> she would not want to be part of an ensemble. She doesn't have a sense of humor. Uh, the rest of the cast here clearly on board and got paid. Good for them getting paid on this suits reunion. They're seeing a bunch of checks come in. This wouldn't wouldn't have happened without the Netflix uh, resurgence of the of the show. Uh, but who's the star here? Aside from Judge Judy, obviously as the judge, this whole thing feels like it was just a Suits reunion. Let's get some Suits cast members to be here so and put them in a trial, and uh, you know pump it get get that cred, which it is. If you scroll down, everyone in the comments like, oh my god, I miss Suits. This is so great. The collaborative Judge Judy and Suits. I didn't know I needed this. Ronald from Jury Duty, best collab ever. I miss Suits so much, just amazing. So uh, yeah, the you know fans digging it, and nice to see Gina Rick there as part of it. Now again, the question though comes: 
<laughs> why is she there? Well, because she's not part of the group chat. That's why she's not there. And uh, I don't think they want her there. That's the vibe I get. And I, I want you guys to tell me that's the vibe I get when I watch these. Uh, the fact that she's not there is pretty telling. This is a opportunity you'd think you'd want to get paid on. But here we got Gina Torres, Rick Hoffman, Sarah Rafferty reuniting for Elf Cosmetics, which will air during the big game. It really did feel like a party, Rafferty told t today in the reunion. It was like kind of a cocktail party where you just have these amazing conversations and you just leave filled up. Like your cup's more full than when you came in. Meghan Markle, who played paralegal Rachel Zane, which ended, was not in the spot. In the commercial directed by Zach Woods, the actor best known as uh, Silicon Valley. Oh, interesting. In The Office, he's Gabe in The Office. Uh, the Suits legal team ends up in Judge Judy's magnificent courtroom. I made a fool of myself, Hoffman says, about meeting the 81-year-old legal icon. I literally became starstruck just because for years I grew up watching her. And then ultimately I was like, I have to ask her to make a video for my mom. Uh, there they are. Very cute. All the cast. Sorry, still have a cough a little bit. But there's the uh, the collaboration, all that no one knew we needed. Uh, and uh, yeah, Megan. I don't think Megan, do you think Megan could stomach being in a room with these guys and not be sneezy, not being the lead? <laughs> I carry on even when I got uh, a cold still brewing. I couldn't see her in this as part of an ensemble. I just don't think she has it in her anymore, pers personally. That's my take. I'm curious what you think. But all these people here having fun, showing up together, getting a paycheck for the Super Bowl spot, uh, with clearly these guys getting paid the biggest. Uh, apparently, jo Judy was a good sport and agreed to do it. I have a video of you making your video. Rafferty tells him, I'll text it to you. The title spot, Judge Beauty, was created the top selling product, Halo Glow, I don't know, whatever. In addition to the co stars, cameos from Megan Trainer, former NFL player, sports analysis, M Emmanuel Echo. Comedo, comedian Benito Skinner, known as Benny Drama, Jury Duty star Ronald Gladden, and Heidi in Closet from RuPaul's Drag Race. Well, there you go. There's the cast. Uh, when it comes to her own makeup, Rafferty plays the court reporter in the commercial, likes to keep her makeup minimal. Makeup artists ask me about a lot about that. Do you want your freckles to be seen? I'm like, yeah, it's really going to be hard to not have them seen. I love freckles. It's part of me. So I say, let the freckles out. I think as I get older... Uh, cream. Anyway, I don't, sorry, I don't care about their their makeup habits. That's clearly what they're here to do. They sell Elf Cosmetics, and from what I've learned from my daughter and others, yeah, it's a TikTok trend now where everyone's going to Sephora and overbuying, and even kids overpaying for these ridiculous cosmetics. Whereas Elf is trying to come in and be like, "Yo, you can get it much cheaper. There's much cheaper stuff you can get at Walgreens, CVS. That's not at Sephora. Sephora is overcharging, and it's uh, the TikTok trends. So clearly, they're trying to get in here." Uh, but there it is. Nice to see the cast reuniting. There is a Suits reunion, or sorry, a, a spinoff coming, uh, Suits LA, where they will be in uh, there. I'm very excited for our creator, close friend Aaron Korsh. It's in the Suits universe, but it's a completely different world. I'm excited to watch it as a fan. I mean, I've been chatting with him about the process so far. I'm excited. I don't think I can spoil anything for you. I can't give anything away at this point. So I imagine just like Law & Order SVU and C, you know, a CSI Miami this is an offshoot where I'm sure I'm sure at some point we could have a uh, follow up. I don't know where the suits. It was a Toronto. They shot it. Is that where it took place? I don't know where the original suits took place, but I'm sure there's a version where those lawyers could combine efforts and see some crossover. So will we see Megan in a suits someday? I think yes. I do. I think she's going to have to at some point. She'll need that. Hit that bell so you get alerted. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up as well. And tell us your thoughts. Are you surprised that she got snubbed? Do you think she would have shown up to party with all these other people? Do you think she could handle such a group effort, a group project, if you will? I want to hear your thoughts. And make sure you join us over on Popcorn Palace for our live as we talk about more royal news. Uh, lots more go uh, gossip, pop culture news coming here. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.